Good morning, this is Gracie Opulenza and I'm all about eccentric and opulent lifestyle. You can find out a lot more about me on gracieopulenza.com. Ah, this, um, on my YouTube I have put on many brands like Dolce Cabana, Prada, and it's all about what makes a high-end luxury quality shoe. Now this is a brand called Santoni. I don't think a lot of people have heard of this brand. Beautiful boutique in the famous Emmanuel Gallery in Milano. And these shoes walk all over Gucci, Prada, Dior, Louis Vuitton. These shoes are another level and they're not that expensive. On average, it's around 850 euro. I think for the quality of the shoe, the brand, honestly, I I know even a Chanel shoe, Prada shoe, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, that mass-produced so-called luxury brand, which is fast fashion, let's face it, any man and his dog can get access to it. Now this, you will not find everywhere. You'll find them online. Like and subscribe because I'm taking you into the world of Tuscany and luxury leather. And I live in T Tuscany and I know a quality shoe when I see it. I think these are second to none quality. I mean, look at the brogues. Look at the detail. Beautiful leather made in Italy. Just look at this, just gorgeous. I never heard of this brand till I discovered it. I mean, this is a quality shoe. Quality shoe is hardware, which is gorgeous. The finish, I mean, I have many, many brogues. I've just, I haven't even worn these yet. My stuff's been in storage for four years. But these, I know when I put these on, are just fantastic. I mean, I've done Dolce Cabana, Prada. There's a lot on my YouTube about luxury shoe brands. Now look at these ones. Oh, fantastic. Winter boot. These are going to go on, on Vestier, size 41. I bought them because I love them, but they're way too big. Vestier, size 41. They're going to go for 500 euro. This boot here will retail at about thirteen to fourteen hundred euro. So there is still at five hundred euro. If you've got a big foot, this boot will suit you. And even these boot for a size forty one, I'd even go borderline say forty two, but there are forty one. If you've got a wide foot or a fat foot, I know how hard it is for. Um, people to find excellent quality boots at uh, this price, at this level, and the size is gorgeous. Look, and they're just subtle. They just play a lot with this leather, which is fantastic. The hardware is excellent. Here, what I love, they've put, so this is a proper winter boot. You can wear this. I'm telling you, the more you wear them, the more you fall in love. They are super comfortable. I have a pair. I've worn them to death so much. I'm not going to even show you them. Here, the zip to slip on. So size 41 on vestiaire, a steel at 500 euro. They will go, honestly, they walk all over Gucci, Prada, Versace, just a beautiful boot and they would retail at a at about 1400 pounds they're not even they're not even online they only make a certain limited edition look this is proper leather all leather sole leather upper leather inlay and just beautiful beautiful leather these are going on for sale at vest yeah too big and if you've got a wide foot 41 and you are looking for a fantastic made in Italy high high end luxury shoe you are looking at it Sotini and then I will bring you to and I have the ankle version of this and I can't find it I hope I haven't 
in all my storage, lost it. it. It doesn't make sense. Look at these. I've worn these. These are fantastic. Look at that attention to detail. I've even got the shorter version boot. I hope I come across it very, very soon. Beautiful. Worn them, worn them. I have another pair that I've worn to death as well. These are fantastic. Look, I mean, when I say worn to death, I mean... I have worn them over and over and they are fantastic. What an absolute statement boot. And this boot would retail at a hundred, oh, probably 1,500 euro. They are just gorgeous. I mean, how, where do you see boots looking like this? Beautiful. And then you can see the synergy here back to the boot, size 41, on sale at Vestiaire. It's going up, just waiting for approval. Gorgeous hardware proper 41 um fantastic ankle boot they'll go with anything skirts you really want to show these off they're subtle but they've got a little little quirky twist beautiful leather leather look at this little detail here love 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 the attention hardware is fantastic and the more that you wear these i tell you it's like having um just a sock on they are just fantastic it's not a hard leather it's a soft leather i'm assuming it's a calf leather a beautiful if you're in milano when you visit the famous gallery go into the shop you won't be disappointed and these look proper wide gucci prada make it a lot more narrower so this, like, you won't come across a boot at 500 euro at this quality, this proper size of a wide foot, a size 41. can say never worn, all, all leather upper, leather sole. And this, as you can see, fantastic, very clever. So these are a proper winter boot. If you've got a wide ankle, doesn't matter, pull the zip down. Hold on. You pull the zip down and then you can really get your foot in. Now, if with new shoes, here's my top tip for a stiff zip. Just put a little bit of um, even leather wax and this will make it go up and down very, very easy. So this is fantastic if you're looking for a winter boot, size 41, wide ankle, wide foot. Um, and if you if this, if you want to cover this, then you just put it with palazzo pants, denim jeans, and then you'll just get that really classical look boot. I'm telling you, walks over Dior, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Prada, Versace, D and G, I have them all. This is an underrated brand that not many people know about. And then we're back to the brogues. I've got many, many brogues. Um, I've got Prada, I've got um, J&G churches. These walk all over the, them. These will retail easy at £1,200. And look at that proper. These are staying with me. Putting this with the Prada pleated dress that I have. Oh, killer. Mustard socks. Just let the shoe do the talking. Now, the shoe is nothing until someone steps in it, like Gracie or Pilanza. Then we're going back here, which I've worn them. I'm a little bit panicky. I've been looking all morning morning because I also have the half size, which I love. Haven't worn. They're brand new. Don't know why I haven't worn them. I have seen them somewhere. Satini Gallery in Milano. It's a limited shoe brand it's you won't find it everywhere you can find it on light only people that know the brand will understand the high-end super luxury of these boots i mean for me these boots should be going at three thousand euro because they're they're unique the leather is fantastic the moment you walk in them you i never got blisters and i have another pair that i have walked to death i'll put a photo of me with them when I did a car launch, underrated. What makes a high eye end um, shoe brand is the quality of the leather, the hardware. This is fantastic. These are for sale on Vestier, size 40. Look at that. Can make it wider. So if you've got a wide ankle, 
plus size ankle, proper, proper 41. They're a nice width as well. They're a beautiful boot. They are worth 500 uh, euro. That's what they're going for. These would retail at around 1400 euro. Beautiful, beautiful. They're just too big. And here, because of the zip, because of the zip, this will get your foot access. If you high, have a high bridge foot, this would be fantastic for that. Look at the quality of the leather. It is beautiful. I love. They all have the colour like this, which is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Probably inspired by the, the Tuscan stone. And here, there is... This is not... Because of the zip... And you're going to be able to get your foot in easy. If not, get a shoehorn. You should invest in a shoehorn. When you're coming to Italy, invest in a shoehorn and invest in quality, quality, high-end leather boots. You will not be disappointed. Great. A proper 41. Look at the brogues. They're famous for their colour. Beautiful boutique in Milan in the famous Emmanuel Gallery. Look at the attention to detail. I have broke from T and G and Prada and churches, and these are simply another level. They're another level. Just look at the colour. Just beautiful. These are just show stoppers. I would um, tip, scuff them, put them on here. Scuff them, meaning or sandpaper them before you wear them, because you will slip in these. I, these are an indoor brogue. I would only wear them in a in a VIP event or a fashion event or on a super yacht or in a five star hotel. Let's say the Four Seasons um, in Florence. I've reviewed the Four Seasons Kosamui. Season three of the White Lotus is currently being filmed there. Check it out on menstylefashion.com. Check it out on crazyopulanta.com. Like and subscribe and leave a comment. Are you liking my videos on what makes made in Italy? Why when you come to Italy, you should invest in a pair of leather shoes. You will not be disappointed. These are on sale on Vestiaire, size 41. They're a proper 41. They're retailed normally at 1,400 euro. I'm selling them for 500 euro. Make me an offer that I can't refuse proper wide foot i know people with a size 41 struggle to get boots that are of this quality that are wide here you can make this wider this wider and then cleverly they've put the zip in with your shoehorn you can even with a high bridge foot you'll get these in and um, I, in fact, my husband's a size 41. He would fit in this. Like a, a proper male would sit, fit in this at a size 40. But fantastic. And then I've worn these to death. I have also the smaller version. I hope I find them. Have a look here. And the famous, the famous beautiful burnt orange. Look at this. These would retail at a couple of thousand euro. They are gorgeous. I love the design. In the front, you wouldn't know. They're a standard boring boot. I need to clean these up and give them leather loving. Make sure every six months or a year that you buy proper leather wax and give your shoes leather loving. Fantastic. What do you think? Have you heard of the brand? What's your favourite shoe? Would you pay 500 euro for that? I can tell you in Milan, you'll be paying 1400 euro, maybe more. Shoes I find in Italy have got a lot more expensive. 200 leather factories have closed down in Tuscany, um, being bought up by conglomerate LVMH Group, which are Dior, Kering, Gucci... Michael Kors, and they will dominate the market. And I can tell you, they will not be making shoes of this quality. So support a beautiful brand that is not mass produced. You won't find it everywhere. Beautiful boutique in Milano, famous gallery, Emmanuel. 
like, subscribe, comment. Are you liking the tips of why? When you come to Italy, when you come to Tuscany, grab yourself a gorgeous glass of wine or Prosecco and invest in a high-end quality made in Italy shoe.